Amplitude modulation is simply the use of one signal to control the amplitude or loudness of another. For example, when we patch a function to open a VCA that has a VCO wave in its signal input, the function modulates the amplitude of that wave. As we increase the frequency of this function, the result gradually changes from individual note events to a timbral modulation. What is happening here is that the note is starting and stopping faster and faster, eventually more than once per oscillator cycle, resulting in additional frequencies called sidebands. The sidebands of AM do not suppress the fundamental frequency as heavily as FM does, so it tends to have an earthier sound while still retaining interest and complexity. As with FM, we can use another VCA to set the depth of this modulation. Here we'll patch the modulator to the first channel of the mod demix and use a slower modulator to decide how much of the modulator is going through to the second channel's modulation input. We could also try using the slower function to modulate the frequency of the modulator. It is worth mentioning and exploring the difference between modulating the modulation amount in this way and simply modulating the amplitude of the modulated signal. For example, let's patch the modulator as we did to begin with and use the slower function to control the amplitude of the result. This is less dynamic and complex, but could be more useful depending on context. While these building blocks are simple, in the end what we have here is a number of open patch points ready to modulate and be modulated by each other in any configuration we choose. This open signal flow and the decisions it opens to you the musician is what makes a modular synth powerful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.